Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's going to be the first uh, in a sequence of videos uh, exploring this reaction in its different forms, uh, the different reagents and electrophiles, uh, and ultimately concluding with some uh, regioselectivity uh, regio and, and some synthesis applications. And the first thing that I want to do is just highlight how um, aromatic rings behave differently towards electrophiles than alkenes. As you probably already know, alkenes undergo addition reactions with electrophiles. They react with the electrophile often to form a carbocation intermediate. And then something in the reaction mixture is nucleophilic uh, and attacks that carbocation. And, and just because I'm going to draw the mechanism of the aromatic version, it's worth probably representing the the alkene mechanism for comparison. Let's get my electrophile here. Let me move my aromatic ring out of the way. Here's my carbocation. And something in the reaction mixture is nucleophilic, whether it's actually an anion or whether it's protonated, whether there's a proton transfer step or whatever. Uh, depends a lot on the specific reactions and conditions, but uh, the mechanism is pretty straightforward. Aromatic rings do something different. They undergo substitution reactions, and, and, and just because of that, instead of listing a nucleophile as my uh, other reagent, I've listed a base. And instead of having a, an additional covalent bond made, the base makes off with, with one of our hydrogens. And the trick here is, uh, or at least you know, the trick here is, is aromaticity is an important part of why this mechanism is different. It starts off, honestly, in the same place that the aromatic ring reacts with an electrophile. And in this case, like I didn't feel it was necessary in the alkene case, but I feel that it's necessary here. In this case, I'm showing the hydrogen atom at that position. I'm putting the carbocation at the other position. Just like in the alkene case, there are two carbon atoms in the pi bond. One of them gets the electrophile. The other one gets the cation. This carbocation is resonance stabilized, so it has some additional resonance structures, and I'm going to draw them. Um, I'm not going to fill in all of the arrows here, but I am going to draw the other resonance structures. Just give me a, a quick moment to move some bonds around. So, number one difference between uh, alkenes and aromatic rings. The aromatic ring's uh, intermediate is resonance stabilized. Uh, so that would immediately perhaps make you think that this reaction is going to behave a little bit differently. Uh, and that maybe it's even more likely to occur because the carbocation intermediate is stable. Uh, you would actually be a little bit wrong uh, because while it is resonance stabilized, Uh, it is also, I don't know, where did that underline come from? Hold on. Let's see. While it is resonance stabilized, it's no longer aromatic. So the aromaticity of the system has been lost. And that's the important difference between the outcomes for aromatic rings and alkenes. Yeah. This while this carbocation intermediate might be resonance stabilized, it actually represents a higher energy investment to get here because of the loss of aromaticity. And because the return of aromaticity is going to be um, a significant driving force, you know, let's just take out the word base, uh, it changes the behavior of this carbocation intermediate. Instead of uh, undergoing nucleophilic attack to do an addition product, 
we get uh, a substitution product, the base that is present, and the base doesn't even have to be anything all that particularly basic. And when I talk about uh, the specific reactions, you'll see some of the, the weird things that are, that are basic enough here. Uh, essentially, this carbocation is, is amongst the strongest of strong acids. Uh, such that things like chloride anion is, is basic enough to deprotonate it. Um, and you get, you know, the substitution. So we reform we reform the aromatic part of the aromatic ring, which is what creates a strong driving force for this reaction having a different kind of outcome. Really want to make it clear though that there's that this arrangement hydrogen and electrophile on the same carbon, carbocation neighboring carbon. And when the base comes in to do its thing, it is going after that hydrogen that is at the position where the electrophile is. It is not going after the hydrogen that's at the carbocation position. And the carbocation does not end up at the position with the electrophile. Those two things are common mistakes that uh, I sometimes see students do when they're drawing this mechanism and, and its variations. Remember that this carbocation interme intermediate initially looks almost exactly like the carbocation intermediate from the electrophilic addition reaction. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about drawing uh, this mechanism. In the next vid several videos, I'm going to introduce you to five common types of electrophilic aromatic substitutions. There are more of them out there, but these five are amongst the most common, and the other ones out there are either specialized cases or, or variations on, on this particular theme. Uh, and so stay tuned, and thanks for watching.